hey guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host and as you can see this is my new portrait watch face in watch os 8 so my device is on watch os 8 and you can see another portrait watch face so i have about two portrait watch faces and you can see that it's sort of dynamic or motion sensitive so as i move my uh, wrist like this you can see that you know the watch is also i mean the face is also moving a little bit if you focus on the text so it's motion sensitive and also if you spin the crown so if you spin the crown a little bit let's select this watch face and spin the crown you can see that it comes forward and i have two dynamic watch faces that are changing uh dynamically so this is the other one that you are seeing at the start of the video and you can see that you know it's motion sensitive if you spin the crown like this it comes to the foreground or it comes further a little bit out of the screen it goes also the same with this other watch face like this if you spin the crown it comes like this and it's motion sensitive you can see that you know it looks like i'm moving my head back and forth so this is how the portrait watch face looks and you can actually set up more things to this portrait watch face and that's what i'm going to be showing you how you can do that on your apple watch so if you go into your iphone and open up your apple watch application and go to the watch app like there you can go to where it says face gallery and you can see that basically this is the portrait watch face or what's new in watch os you see the first thing that you're going to see is portraits and that's the one that allows for this so the moment you open it up for the first time you can see that when i click there mine shows nothing but when you do this for the first time on your device you will see something that's exactly like this the face i noticed that is changing sometimes you have like uh, an asian sometimes you have an indian sometimes you have an african so this is something that's changing to depict i guess different ethnicities so that's something to keep in mind mine looks a bit different because i have already been there and i made some changes but once you go into your watch app and go to face gallery you'll be able to see uh, portraits and if you click on portraits you'll be able to see the watch face now it says no portraits photos so we want to go ahead and add a portrait photo to this uh, watch face so let's click there like this or let's say um we, we have to come here and say choose a photo and you can see that it automatically goes to the portrait section of my iphone so if you go into my photos you'll be able to see this portrait section and these are all the portrait photos that i have taken using my device so you can see that it's pretty good for the purposes of this video let's select like this portrait photo and we'll add it like this and now we've added our portrait photo so you can see that here we can actually change the style or the clock the text style you can see when we select it there it uh, changes if we select this one you can see the style changes and also it changes right there but now if you want to change your text to put it as a foreground or background you can uh, change that by going to the photo that you have selected like this and then when you click on the photo you will notice that these uh, options pop up on the bottom of your screen so for me if you select this one you can see that my um, my time or the time parameter goes on the background and if i select this one it comes in the foreground and this one just put it on the bottom front so if we select this one which is the one that's um, in the top behind you can see that it says time is being obstructed if you get something like this you can always move your subject around and you'll be able to um uh, you know get the message out of the way so you notice that if i pull down it says it, it time is obstructed is no longer there like this so if i like my subject here or if i like it here i can always drag it and put it to wherever i want i'll just put it here and just leave it there and click done so now this is done and my uh, time is in the background as you can see and now we can add this to our watch when we click add keep an eye on the watch it should change shortly so you can see now that the portrait watch face has been changed on the apple watch and it's also 
uh, motion sensitive let me just put down my watch and raise my wrist like this and as you can see it lights up so it's motion sensitive you can see like i'm moving back and forth like this and also if you spin your crown like this let me just put the phone down a little bit so let me raise my wrist so that it lights up so you can see this and if i move the crown it comes to the foreground if i move it back you know it's the same thing and also it moves you know it's motion sensitive like this it's like you know i'm shaking my head back and forth it's very hard to reproduce on the camera or to see it very clear on the camera but when you have your apple watch you can actually see it you know moving and if you keep an eye on like the date you can see that sometimes the middle portion of my head is on the friday but you see that you know it's moving a little bit towards the 25 and then more towards the friday just just like that it's very hard to you know show justice to this on the camera but it's something that you can easily do so that's how you do it on the apple watch and if you want you can even set like you know different pictures this is a picture where i was in a car and you can see that you know the same thing works and then also you can um, select like this one and you can be able to do different things so i noticed also another thing that let, let me select this one and let's just close my apple watch and then we'll raise it again you can see that it sort of uh broadcasts the subject so when you put it down and raise it again you can see that your subject comes to focus more the moment you raise your risks and you can see when it um, blacks out your subject goes a little bit in the background so that's something cool and you know it's a it's a little good new feature that came to watch os 8 and this is just a video showing you how you can sort of make changes to it and also customize it if you want to customize it on your apple watch it's also very easy and very possible so let me just change like let's say for example we want to edit this watch face all we have to do is hold on to it and then go to where it says edit and if we move our crown you can see that we can actually change the style right there you can see the text is changing you have rounded you have modern and you have classic this is something that you can do and also you can change um, different parameters if you want to add the date you can add it there and if you want to add other things or other parameters you can do that on your uh, apple watch by just using the watch without a need for the phone also maybe another trick that i wanted to show you when you go into your apple watch application and then go again to the um uh, what you call face gallery you will see oh, by the way you notice that the face changed here so we have some asian lady there and also i guess that's pride just depicting different hair colors but anyways if you select there or when the when you open your face gallery and you see you don't see portraits you can easily go into your watch face gallery and go to portraits so if you don't see portraits on top of your uh, watch faces you can always go down down to uh, this is in alphabetical order so m n uh, p and you can see portraits is right there and we also have like a, an african kid i guess so you can also access portraits from there if it doesn't show up on top of your uh, face gallery like this so that's something that you can do and of obviously when you come here on my watch you can always see the different watch faces that you have and also remember that when you add portraits you can even choose like multiple portrait pictures so you can choose this choose that choose this choose this and add multiple numbers of pictures to your portrait and when you add it you can always come down to the photos that you've selected like this and make changes so let's say for example this one that i've changed if i want to put the text in the background i can always do that and let me just hold the watch here like this and then uh, maybe I'll put the text right there. You can see that my subject is too, it like, it's like too central and too big, right? So, but I can change uh, the text right there. But if I put it in the background, I'll have to drag it like this. And then that's when the text that it's been um, blocked disappears. And then if I like it, I can click done and done again and then all these uh, pictures that i've added i can add them to the watch face and you'll notice that it's going to change in a bit let's keep an eye on the apple watch 
more pictures take more time and um, as you can see it's it's uh, it's we change in a moment let's just give it some more time maybe I'll just lower my hand and uh, bring it back up like this and as you can see it has changed and the text or the time is in the background and you can see that the picture just changed right there so that's how you do it as you can see it's very easy very simple to do all you have to make sure is make sure that your watch is on watch os 8 and also is updated to the latest software update and make sure that your iphone is on ios 15 you'll be able to enjoy this new portrait watch face and other than that that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like down below and if you have any questions leave them below and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon maybe i'll just put this one because it looks a little bit cool and stay safe have a great weekend and i'll see you in the next video peace